are about to tour one of the best middle schools in MNPS. We are so excited that you'll be joining the Oliver family next year. Hi, Ms. Fawn. This is Ms. Fawn. She and the other front office staff are here to greet you with a warm smile whenever you come in the building. Here in the front office is where you can get school information such as bus, transportation information, and your infinite campus login. You can also turn in your absence excuse notes for when you're absent. And behind Ms. Vaughn is the nurse's office. Hi, Nurse Nancy. Come on this way. The office I'm standing in front of now is the office of our assistant principal, Dr. Johnson. She is the assistant principal for fifth and sixth grade. Hello, Dr. Johnson. Say hello to our rising fifth grade students. Greetings, scholars. My name is Dr. Sonya Johnson, and I will be your fifth and sixth grade assistant principal here at Oliver Middle School. Welcome. And right next door to Dr. Johnson is our executive principal, Ms. Hawaii Wilson. Ms. Wilson, say hello to our rising bulldogs. Hello, rising bulldogs. Welcome to Oliver Middle School. I look forward to meeting you soon. Now that we've exited the offices, we have the option to go right or left. If we go to my right, we will go to three related arts classes, which are computer, art, and music. And we also have the fifth grade hallway. If we go to my left, we will go to drama, band, and PE. Our related arts classes are classes that you take uh, each quarter. You might call them specials in elementary school. Here, we do a different related arts class every quarter except for band. Band you will do for the whole year and will not do the other related arts class. Now we have arrived at Drama, one of our related arts classes. Come on in. Drama is an award-winning program here at Oliver. In drama class, students explore many methods of acting, create scripts and stories, analyze literature and artistic pieces, study theater history, and create original scripts in modern theater. Theater allows students to tap into their creativity and explore real life issues in a safe and exciting way. Students are also encouraged to participate in our school musicals, which allow them to experience storytelling, musical theater, choreography, and perform with about 150 other students in a large full-scale musical. Oliver Drama has scored at the highest level for the last six years with their musical performances. We have performed at TPAC, Vanderbilt, and get this, Disney World. OMS Drama is more than a class. It opens the door for a community of students who work hard together, create together, and accomplish large projects together. This community becomes a family for our students and a wonderful place to find a home at OMS. We have arrived at band. We have an outstanding award-winning band production here at Oliver Middle School. Miss Waters is our head band director. Here in band, you'll play all kinds of instruments from the clarinet to the flute to the trombone to so many more. However, you will be in band for the whole year and you will not take any of the other related arts classes.
play games and have all kinds of fun with your friends. General Music is a classroom experience in which students will learn how to actively listen to music, discover new styles of music, and explore the history of some of their favorite genres and musical artists. Students will create playlists, participate in discussions, and have the opportunity to express themselves in new ways involving music. So let's take a peek inside of our beautiful library. Our librarians are Ms. Yeomans and Ms. Winningham. You will come to the library every other week with your English language arts class. During that time, you can check out up to three items from books to playaways. Enjoy reading. We have arrived at art class. Miss Lombard is our art teacher. In art, you can expect to have fun and grow in artistic confidence. You will improve upon what you already know and will be challenged to learn new skills. You will experiment with different art materials and techniques. It will be like giving your brain a creative recess break. Computer science and technology is one of the fastest growing industries. Tennessee, like many other states, has had a steady increase in the number of jobs in the computer science and technology field. Even if you don't want to go into computer science, all students can benefit from learning computer technology. They can learn about concepts and practices that will allow them to better understand the world and improve their logical reasoning and problem-solving skills, and to increase their creativity and collaboration. In computer and technology, you will learn muscle memory, keyboarding techniques, what makes a computer, and how society uses technology for all kinds of purposes. By eighth grade, you'll have increased your typing speed, become proficient in Microsoft Word, and use code.org. Miss Sanford, what do you feel like eating for lunch today? I could really go for some pizza right now. You know, I think I could have an egg roll. Sounds good. Here is the cafeteria. Welcome. This is where you're going to eat breakfast and lunch. You will sit with your assigned class and eat lunch with your other classmates. The cafeteria is also a place where we host our dances and our drama productions. Welcome to the fifth grade hallway. As you can see, if you walk straight down this hallway, it is the fifth grade hallway. If you go this way, it's the sixth grade hallway. Upstairs is seventh and eighth grade, and it is designed the same way. Just remember, you are never on the same hallway with sixth graders, seventh graders, or eighth graders. You have your own hallway. Let's take a look at the lockers, which you can see are right along the fifth grade hallway. As you can see, this is a locker. The combination lock is attached to the locker, so you do not need to bring your own lock. You will have to memorize your locker combination, but don't worry. Your teacher will give you plenty of time to practice memorize and to learn your combination lock. It's important that you never share your combination with any other student. Why don't we take a peek inside of a fifth grade classroom? When you become a fifth grade Oliver Bulldog, you'll have two teachers on your teaching team. One teacher will teach math and science and the other will teach English language arts and social studies. And your teachers are right next door to each other. So when you change classes, you'll either walk across the hallway or you'll go right next door. But you're never by yourself when you change classes. Your teachers will escort you wherever you go. So there is no reason to worry about being lost. Your teachers will take you to related arts, to recess, and to lunch. So you will be with them at all times. Or they will be right outside their classroom waiting for you when you switch classes. For your safety and convenience, the boy and girl fifth grade bathrooms are on your hallway. That means no other grade level, sixth, seventh, or eighth, are allowed to use these restrooms. So for your convenience, you have water fountains when we're able to use them again, and you have access to your own bathroom. Right across from the bathroom is the school counseling office. There's a big guidance sign so you can't miss it. With permission from your teacher, you can come visit the school counselors during lunch or recess. If you're having an emergency, you can let your teacher know and the teacher and the school counselor will arrange a time to meet during the school day that will work best for everyone. This is where you will find me, 
Miss Wessels. And this is where you'll find me, Miss Sanford. As your school counselors, we are here to support you academically, socially, and emotionally. We are always here for you, and you can talk to us about anything. We are looking forward to seeing you next year. Hi, my name is Kendall Presley, and I'm in sixth grade. I'll be answering a few of your questions I know you may have. Hi, my name is Hannah Matthews, and I'm a student at Oliver. Will I get a locker and what if I can't open it? Yes, you will get a locker with a combination lock on it. Your teacher will give you a time to practice opening your locker. You will have it to learn your combination. If you ever forget your combination, don't worry, your teacher can help you. I kept a copy of my combination in my binder so I can look back if I needed it. What are the sports at Oliver and can I play in the fifth grade? You cannot play in the fifth grade, but in the sixth grade you can. The sports that we have at Oliver are football, basketball, track, cheerleading, wrestling, and soccer. What activities can fifth graders participate in since they can't play any sports? In fifth grade, you can participate in band, STEM, and drama. There are drama productions everyone can try out for. Even if you're not in a production, they're so fun to watch. My favorite one was The Little Mermaid. Do I have to keep up my grades and have good behavior to play sports? Yes, you must have good behavior and keep your grades up. The coaches will check that, so make sure you make good decisions every day. Who will I eat lunch with? You get to eat lunch with your homeroom class and their assigned tables. Sometimes I bring, would bring my lunch, but other times I would eat school lunch. Does middle school wear SSA? Yes, we have to wear SSA. Sometimes we didn't, sometimes we didn't have to, depends on the principal or teacher. Will I have recess? Yes, you will have recess at least 20 minutes each day. This is a good time to have fun with your friends. Well, I get a lot of homework. It depends on it depends on what you're learning. If you're in honors classes, you may get a lot of homework. If you're in regular classes, it just depends on what you're learning. What is your favorite thing about middle school? I love that you get to switch teachers throughout the day and hang out with your friends at recess to get a break from sport. It's also fun to go watch basketball games or other sports after school is over. One more of my favorite things is we start at 8.55, so we get to sleep in just a little bit longer. What is your favorite thing about middle school? Favorite thing about middle school is it, you have lockers, you have different activities like pep rallies, you have sports, um, you have uh, stay off field day. The biggest difference for me is that you have more responsibilities, like keeping up with your locker and getting to class on time. And there's a lot more people in middle school. So that means you get to make a lot more friends. What is the biggest difference between middle school and elementary? Middle school, um, you have vending machines, lunches are here, you get slushies. Uh, it's more free, the teachers don't follow you everywhere. And in elementary, the teachers follow you everywhere. Um, you don't get vending machines or slushies. What is our school mascot in school colors? Our school mascot is the Bulldogs, and our colors are purple and red. Thank you for taking this tour with us of Oliver Middle School. We look forward to seeing you next year.